All right, we are back in the booth and we're gonna do something a little different than normal. We're gonna be painting this Ben Parker eight inch spoon in a shad pattern, so stay tuned. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna put a solvent based paint over this. Um, we're only gonna do one side at a time because you can't, it's very hard to hold this thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some solvent based white Shake it up. And we're just gonna spray over the top of this. Yeah, this spoon has been busted up. I have striper fished with these for a long time. So I'm gonna have to do some covering up. And probably do a couple coats over this to get all those scratches out of there. So we're gonna let that dry. And then we're gonna put another coat on it. All right, so now we're gonna go over coat number two. We're just gonna go over, it's got a lot of lines and stuff in it, which we're gonna put our own scale pattern on it. Get it covered up. Try to get all the damage off of it anyway. Go around the edge. on back across all right so we're gonna let that dry and we'll be right back all right so we have loaded some black in the gun <laughs> And we're gonna kind of do this just like we do our other shad. We're just gonna use the Gerald Mendez stencil and we're gonna come down just a little bit. Let me, I'll tell you what we can do. Hang on just a second. I got my sponge. We can tip this up where you can actually see it. So we'll tip it up, get it in the middle. So when we put some weight on it, it's not gonna give it a, it's not gonna push it over. I'm gonna go all the way to the top with it. Because I'm probably gonna use a little bit of color shift on that top. So we already know our eye is gonna go somewhere in here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this bigger model on this front. And I've got the new kill dot from Lure Build. And I'm gonna retape this off because I wanna use a bigger one. I'm gonna use this second to the largest one. I'm just gonna slide the tape down. I'm gonna use this. I'm actually going on vacation starting this weekend and I'm gonna start doing some striper fishing and I want it for that, just to play with it. And I'll post some pics if I, if I catch a fish. So this is what the stencil looks like. I just tape it off so that the overspray doesn't come and crack it good. So we gotta see, Ooh, I just dropped it. Hang on just a second.
and I'm going to be using these big 12 millimeter eyes. So I got a pretty good idea of what that's going to cover. So I'm just going to slide on back maybe to here. And then I'm going to hit it. And we'll put a fin on it. I got my fin wheel right here. I am going to lay it flat for the fin wheel. I'll just slide it over for you. I kind of like that one. I think we'll do this one. Put it right about there. And all I'm going to do is just kind of go around the outside of it. That gives it a really cool look. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, let's see here. I'll wait a minute and put that eye on. I wanna do some detail work on this. Um, I'm gonna get some silver. Uh, let's see where it's at. Iridescent fine silver from Golden. I'm gonna clean this gun out really quick. We'll be right back. So we have the silver in the gun and there's a couple things we're gonna do. We're gonna put our scale pattern on, but we're also gonna go ahead and do some of our blotches and I'm gonna do that in silver. So we're gonna line, you know, they can be random. They don't have to be, let me lay this flat. It'll be easier. This spoon is just a little bit different. We don't wanna get on our fin. Just get some blotches on there. especially around that belly. That gives it a cool look. Put a little bit right here. Okay. And I'll let you see that. kind of gives it a really unique look. We get the eye on it, get the scales on it, it's really gonna look cool. And then I'm gonna put some UV resin on it. So we'll, we'll do that, you know, and do the whole, we'll do the whole thing together so you can see it. So now what I'm gonna do is, I, I don't wanna put, um, i tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my other gun and I'm gonna put some color shift on this. I'm gonna put a little bit of, oh, uh, Kind of a blue purple is what I like. I'm trying to find the one I want. Well, I tell you what, let's don't do that. Let's let's leave it black. I kind of like that. Let me just leave it black. I was gonna shoot the color shift over it, but I'm gonna leave it black. We're gonna put these. Now we can put the. This will make it easier to do. So we got just the tips and we're just gonna do some of the black really to kind of just show off the, the scale pattern. And that really kind of gives it the finishing touch. Okay. 
So we'll go ahead and heat set that off camera. I'll be right back. All right, so that is dry. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the eye on and I'm gonna use these big 12, I'm gonna use one of these big 12 millimeter eyes and they're self adhesive. So if I get the, if I go ahead and get the UV on it, it's, it's gonna be fine. I just gotta line the eye up where I want it. And that looks about good right there. So that's what it looks like. Turned out really cool looking. So I'm gonna get a coat of UVLS and I'm gonna spray on it. And we'll let that dry. And then we'll go ahead and get a coat of UV resin right, on So it. we're gonna put a coat of UV resin on this to lock in our colors. And just put a light coat on it. So we will let that dry and I'll be right back and we'll put a coat of UV resin on it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get a coat of UV resin on this and I'll let you take a look at it. It actually turned out really cool looking. I don't know if you've ever used these big spoons before, but they, they flat out catch fish. You'd be shocked. So I'm gonna spin this around cause I'm right handed and we're gonna go ahead and just get some on here. And I'll do this part where these vice grips are at the end. You just wanna come over it all the way. Put a little bit on there and I can play around with it some. And I don't want it on there soupy, but it's just easier for me to move it around. Just wanna make sure I get a good coating over everything. Put a good bit around this eye. Q-tip and get that later. I don't want it seeping all over the place. I really just want it on the painted side because there's still another side that hasn't been done. You can, you can paint both sides identical if that's what you want to do. I've done both. Just want to make sure I get enough around that eye. Cause it'll lock it in. Okay. So I'm gonna put that up real quick and I'll turn it around where you can actually see it. It has got, it looks really killer. So we'll take a Q-tip and we'll take this bottom piece and we'll just kind of spin it and just draw that out. And that took care of that. So let me stick it in and I'll take it out and let you see the final result. All right, we have taken it out of the UV box and here is the final product. It actually turned out really cool. It is gonna catch some nice stripers and large mouth at the lake that I fish. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe. 
hit the bell notification so you know when I have upcoming videos. And like I always say, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.